Hello and welcome to the Cornwall Reports News Briefing for Wednesday the 14th of June. The local media headlines today. Radio Cornwall's top local story today concerns plans for a huge poultry farm at Nancy Gollum near Helston. The project would house more than 100,000 hens and produce 8 tonnes of waste per day. There are local objections. The Falmouth Packet reports what could be a coming battle to save a small primary school on the Lizard Peninsula. The Academy Trust, which runs St Martin's, says it has only 12 pupils and isn't viable, but local parents are planning to start an action group to keep it open. Cornwall Live reports a letter sent by the South East Cornwall MP Cheryl Murray to the local newspaper The Cornish Guardian, in which she says she will no longer take part in election hustings. The development follows quite a rumpus at hustings held in Callington a few weeks ago, where many people in the audience took exception to some of Mrs Murray's remarks. Cornwall Reports tells us how it's up, up and away at Newquay Airport as passenger numbers continue to grow. The Cornish Times reports how a group of friends went on a personal quest to eat dozens of different pasties in a bid to identify the best. They travelled hundreds of miles around Cornwall before deciding that a pasty firm near Callington produced the most satisfying product. And finally, the Buden Stratton Post has coverage of the Push the Boat Out Day at the Upper Tamar Lakes. Great fun was had by all. And those are the local media headlines today. Thank you very much for watching. See you again tomorrow. Bye-bye.